In the previous session, we started Butterworth low pass first order filter. There, we derived the expression for the gain and we also plotted the frequency response of the filter. Now, let us consider the design of first order low pass Butterworth filter. Filter design. Follow the following steps in the design of the first order low pass Butterworth filter. 1. Choose a value of high cutoff frequency Fh. 2. Select the capacitance C less than or equal to 1 microfarad. 3. Calculate the resistance R from the expression R equal to 1 by 2 pi Fhc. 4. Finally, select R1 and Rf using the passband gain A0 equal to 1 plus Rf by R1. Now let us consider frequency scaling. It is used to convert the original cutoff frequency Fh to another new cutoff frequency value Fh prime. For example, if we have designed a low pass filter at the cutoff frequency 2 kHz and in our application if we require the cutoff frequency to be at 4 kHz, then no need to follow all the design steps once again, but there is a simple method to directly convert the filter to the other frequency 4 kHz just by changing the resistance. How to change this resistance? We have to follow certain steps. To change a high cutoff frequency, multiply or or C but not both by the ratio of the original cutoff frequency to the new cutoff frequency that is R prime equal to Fh by Fh prime into R where R prime is the new resistance value required for the new cutoff frequency Fh prime. Now let us consider another filter that is second order low pass Butterworth filter. Here second order means the gain should roll off at the rate of 40 dB per decade in the stop band. Low pass filter and Butterworth nature all those things are already known to us. Now let us derive the gain expression and how it varies in the frequency response. Let us consider all those things and let us check whether this frequency response is satisfying the Butterworth principle that is flat in pass band as well as in the stop band and also whether the gain rolls off at the 40 dB per decade or not. Let us check all these things by deriving the expression for second order filter. Second order low pass Butterworth filter circuit is as shown in figure A. Here it is a non-inverting mode op amp and the gain of this circuit is given by 1 plus Rf by R1 and the output voltage is given by the gain into the voltage at the non-inverting terminal. Input is given to the non-inverting terminal through two sections 
of RC networks consisting of the resistors R2, R3 and capacitors C2, C3. The equivalent circuit which is showing the currents and voltages of the network at the non-inverting terminal of the op amp is as shown in figure here the circuit uses Laplace transforms. Now as shown in this Laplace transformed figure we are having VA of S that is input voltage VA of S is the voltage at node A and V1 of S is the voltage at node 1. I1 of S, I2 of S and I3 of S are the currents passing through R2, C2 and R3 respectively. Applying Hitchhoff's current law at node A gives I1 of S equal to I2 of S plus I3 of S. Substituting the expressions for I1 of S, I2 of S, I3 of S, we get V in of S minus V A of S by R2 equal to V A of S minus V naught of S by 1 by S C2 plus V A of S minus V1 of S by R3. Using the voltage divider rule, we will get V1 of S equal to 1 by S C3 by R3 plus 1 by S C3 into V A of S. After simplification, it becomes V A of S by R3 C3 S plus 1. That implies V A of S equal to R3 C3 S plus 1 into V1 of S. Substituting the value of V A of S in the above equation and solving for V1 of S, we get V1 of S equal to R3 V in of S plus R3 R2 C2 S into V naught of S divided by R3 C3 S plus 1 into R2 plus R3 plus R3 R2 C2 S minus R2. Solving this equation for V naught of S by V in of S, we have A of S equal to V naught of S by V in of S equal to A naught by S square plus R3 C3 plus R2 C3 plus R2 C2 minus A naught R2 C2 into S by R2 R3 C2 C3 plus 1 by R2 R3 C2 C3. Substituting S equal to J omega, we get A of J omega equal to V naught of J omega by V in of J omega equal to A naught by 1 minus omega by omega H whole square plus J into 1 by Q into omega by omega H where Q equal to root of R2 R3 C2 C3 by C3 into R2 plus R3 plus R2 C2 into 1 minus A naught where A naught equal to 1 plus RF by R1 and omega h square equal to 1 by r2 r3 c2 c3 that implies omega h equal to 1 by root of r2 r3 c2 c3 that implies f h equal to 1 by 2 pi into root of r2 r3 c2 c3 now the magnitude of this gain is given by mod A equal to mod V naught by V in equal to A naught by root of 1 plus F by F H whole power 4. Therefore, for F greater than F H, 
the magnitude of the gate mod A falls at the rate of 40 dB per decade. If R1 equal to R2 equal to R and C1 equal to C2 equal to C, then A of S equal to A naught by S square plus RC into 3 minus A into S by RC whole square plus 1 by RC whole square that equal to A naught by S square plus alpha omega H S plus omega H whole square where omega H equal to 1 by RC that implies F H equal to 1 by 2 pi RC and alpha equal to 3 minus A naught is called the damping quotient for low pass act to RC filter. Here alpha equal to 1.06 for Chebyshev response, it is equal to 1.41 for Butterworth response and it is equal to 1.73 for Bessel response. Therefore, for Butterworth second order low pass filter A naught equal to 3 minus alpha equal to 3 minus 1.414 equal to 1.586 that is 1 plus Rf by R1 equal to 1.586. We have shown that the frequency response of the second order low pass Butterworth filter consists of the gain rolling at the rate of 40 dB per decade in the stop band. Now we design the filter using the following steps. Step 1. Choose the value for the high cutoff frequency FH. 2. Set R2 equal to R3 equal to R and C2 equal to C3 equal to C. Then choose a value of C less than or equal to 1 microfarad. And step 3. Calculate the value of R from the equation R equal to 1 by 2 pi FHC. Step 4. A naught equal to 1 plus RF by R1 equal to 1.586 for Butterworth response which gives RF equal to 0.586 R1. Now choose a value of R1 less than or equal to 100 kilo ohms and calculate the value of RF. Now let us consider first order high pass Butterworth filter. Here high pass filter means it passes all the frequencies above cutoff frequency and attenuates all the frequencies below cutoff frequencies. First order means the attenuation in the stop band that is below cutoff frequency is at the rate of 20 dB per decade. Butterworth response means it is having flat response in pass band as well as in the stop band. Now let us derive a gain expression for this particular filter. The circuit diagram of first order high pass Butterworth filter is as shown in figure. Here the elements RF and R1 participate in determining the gain of the filter and capacitor and resistor C and R participate in the high pass filtering action. Because the capacitor is in series, it passes all the frequencies above the cutoff frequency determined by the R and C elements and it att attenuates the DC and low frequencies. Now the input is applied through this filter at the non-inverting terminal of the op amp. For this particular filter the output is given by 1 plus RF by R1 into R by R plus 1 by J omega C into VI which is equivalent to 1 plus Rf by R1 into J 2 pi F RC by 1 plus J 2 pi F 
RC into VI where omega equal to 2 pi f that implies V naught by VI equal to A naught into J into F by FL by 1 plus J into F by FL which leads to mod V naught by VI equal to A naught into F by FL by root of 1 plus F by FL whole square. Here A naught equal to 1 plus RF by R1 is the pass band gain of the filter. F is the frequency of the input signal. It is in heads. FL is the lower cutoff frequency given by FL equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. Its frequency response is as shown in figure. As frequency increases from 0 towards FL, the gain also increases at the rate of 20 dB per decade. And when it reaches FL, that is when F equal to FL, the gain becomes a naught by root 2 that is 0 0.707 A naught. As frequency increases further that is F greater than FL, the gain tends to A naught and it remains constant that is for F greater than FL will get gain approximately equal to A naught. Now let us consider second order high pass Butterworth filter. Here the gain rolls off at the rate of 40 dB per decade in the stop band. Now let us consider this circuit diagram. The circuit diagram of second order high pass Butterworth filter is as shown in figure A. It consists of two RC sections consisting the elements C2, C3 and R2, R3. Input is given at the input of the capacitor C2 and it is applied through this 2 RC network combination to the non-inverting terminal of the op amp. As usual, the resistors RF and R1 participate in the determining of the gain of this particular filter. Here the resistance R2 is connected to the output instead of connecting to the ground. Now the gain magnitude of this second order HPF is given by mod A equal to V naught by V in equal to A naught by root of 1 plus FL by F whole power 4. This derivation is simple and it is same as the second order low pass Butterworth filter equation derivation. Here A naught equal to 1.586 that is pass band gain for the second order Butterworth response. F is the frequency of the input signal. FL is the low cutoff frequency. Now its frequency response is as shown in figure B. Here the gain increases at the rate of 40 dB per decade up to frequency FL and at the frequency FL the gain becomes A naught by root 2 and for the frequency very very greater than FL the gain becomes constant and it is equal to A naught. So it is satisfying the phenomena of uh, high pass filtering and also it is satisfying the second order response that is 40 dB per decade variation in the stop band and it is flat in the stop band as well as in the pass band for the Butterworth response. The second order are more than second order that is third order, fourth order etc. filters are come under higher order filters. Now in this higher order filters that is starting from third order and above order filters can be constructed by using 
the first order and second order filters. For example, to get the third order filter, we can cascade first order and second order filters. The third order filter is as shown in figure A. It consists of two sections. First section is first order low pass filter and second section is second order low pass filter. Here we have to take the precautionary action that both the filters should have the same cutoff frequency. Now figure B shows the fourth order low pass filter which consists of two sections. Both the sections are second order low pass filters and each is having the same cutoff frequency. Therefore, the figure B is resulting as a fourth order low pass filter. Here figure C shows the frequency response of this filter. Here third order filter falls at the rate of 60 dB per decade and fourth order filter falls at the rate of 80 dB per decade in the stop bed. So, as the order of the filter increases, the rate of attenuation in the stop band increases. Now, let us consider Butterworth band pass filters. A band pass filter is one which passes a range of frequencies lying between two particular frequencies and attenuates all other frequencies. These band pass filters can be further classified into two categories depending on the quality factor. If the quality factor Q is less than 10, then we call that particular band pass filter as wide band pass filter. If Q is greater than 10, then that particular band pass filter is called narrow band pass filter. Here Q is the quality factor and is also known as figure of merit. It is defined as Fc by bandwidth that equal to Fc by Fh minus Fl where Fc equal to root of Fh into Fl is the center frequency, Bw is the 3 dB bandwidth which is given by Fh minus Fl, Fh is the higher cutoff frequency. FL is the lower cutoff frequency. Now let us consider wide band pass filter. In the wide band pass filter, we have to cascade two sections that is high pass filter and low pass filter. Here only one precaution we have to take that is the lower cutoff frequency of the high pass filter should be higher than the higher cutoff frequency of the low pass filter then this particular circuit becomes a wide band pass filter. The first order wide band pass filter is as shown in figure A. It consists of first order high pass section and first order low pass section both are cascaded. The input is given to the input of the high pass section. Here the high cutoff frequency of the low pass filter is chosen greater than that of the low cutoff frequency of the high pass filter. Then the resultant frequency response is as shown in figure B. Its pass band is between FL and FH and all the frequencies less than FL and greater than FH are attenuated at the rate of 20 dB per decade. In order to get the narrow band pass filter response, we have to use multiple feedback as shown in figure. Multiple feedback narrow band pass filter circuit diagram is as shown in figure. It is having two feedbacks with the elements C2 and R3. Its frequency response is as shown in figure B. Here the bandwidth is very narrow as compared to the wide band pass filter. Now let us consider the design calculations of this narrow band pass filter. 1. Choose C1 equal to C2 equal to C2. 
R1 equal to Q by 2 pi Fc C A naught. R2 equal to Q by 2 pi Fc C into 2 Q square minus A naught. R3 equal to Q by pi Fc C where A naught equal to R3 by 2 R1 is the gain at the center frequency Fc which is given by root of Fh Fl. The gain A naught must satisfy the condition A naught square less than 2 Q square. Here also we can implement the frequency scaling that is to get other cutoff frequencies just by changing the resistance value as R2 prime equal to R2 into Fc by Fc prime whole square. In this session, we considered frequency scaling, design of first order low pass filter and second order low pass filter and also we considered first order and second order high pass filters and also we considered the band pass filters with two categories, wide band pass filters and narrow band pass filters.